Book Connected Pages A book in Moodle is a series of connected pages. You can think of it as a mini website or as a manual, as for example this book on a school Moodle, which is a departmental policy document. A book is useful because you can include not only text but links, images, sound and video, such as a YouTube video here. Our Teaching with Moodle course uses books for the tutorials and you can see that books have a block called a table of contents showing the different sections or chapters. To add a book to our course, we first turn on the editing either by clicking the button top right or going to the course administration block and clicking the link there. And then in the section we want to add our book, we click add an activity or resource. This brings up Moodle's activity chooser. Book is a resource because learners just read it, they don't interact with it. Clicking the button once gives us information in the right pane about how best to use a book and clicking twice takes us straight to the setup screen. We give our book a name and if needed a description and if we want to display this description on the course page we tick the box. In appearance we can decide how we want the chapters, which some prefer to think of as pages, of our book to be displayed, for example numbered. We can also choose how we want to move around in our book. We could simply have the table of contents and no navigation, or images, which are the arrows you can see in our Teaching with Moodle books here. They're using numbers for the chapter formatting. Or you can use text. This means that the names of each chapter are shown, as you can see again, in our departmental policy document, which has no numbering. It's up to you to decide the best one for your learners. When we click Save and Display, we can start adding content to our book. And once we've made one chapter, you can see its name appears over on the table of contents. We can add another one by clicking the plus icon and when we've saved a second one you see there is an arrow allowing us to change the order of the chapters. The configure icon lets us do some edits, the X will delete our chapter and the I will hide it from students. So we can continue with our book by clicking the plus icon again. Finally, if we look in the book administration, it's useful to note that books can be printed as PDFs and you can also import chapters into a book if there are HTML files in a zipped folder.